Hi, I'm Tim Jones. Welcome to the World of Retro. Thanks for stopping by today and taking a look at our video. What I'd like to tell you about is our new retro travel trailer. We're using high-tech technology from today with the old vintage style look. For instance, one of the things that we do beneath the aluminum skin on our travel trailer is we have all aluminum frame technology and it's Healy Arc welded together. In addition to that, not only do we have fiberglass insulation to insul insulate you from the outer elements, we also have this radiant barrier technology. And the radiant barrier technology is the same stuff they use on the spacecraft and the space shuttle to help reflect the heat from the sun. You notice on our retro trailer on the outside, we also have that classic look with the Coker Classic tires. So it looks like a trailer right out of the 50s rather than something that's current and just a regular old stick and tin box trailer. Don't forget to take a closer look at the bumper that we use on our trailer. It's a square bumper which will not only hold a square tire, which includes the Coca Classic white wall tire, but will also hold a bicycle rack so you can carry a couple bikes back there from when you're out traveling around and want to have a little bit of fun. The tail lights on the retro are LED, so this is current technology which is going to be safer and brighter than before. And we also use LED running lights on the back of our trailer here. The air conditioner on top of our trailer is an 11,000 BTU air conditioner. So it's going to give you a lot more power and keep you a lot cooler inside our trailer on a hot day. Here you have a 30 amp service. You have a fresh tank water fill on the outside here city water fill so when you're hooked up at an RV park you can be able to hook your hose up right to here and this connection right here is for a ZAMP solar panel. It comes with a six gallon hot water heater with a quick recovery uh, on it as well and inside this door there's double access so you can access your goods from outside the trailer and then there's a lid inside so you can also have access from inside the trailer as well. The window that we put on our trailer is a sealed window, so when you're driving down the road, you're not going to get a lot of dust and moisture being sucked up into the trailer and blown inside to get it really dirty and have to clean it up. But we do have a rock guard here as well, so when you're driving down the road, you don't have to worry about rocks flying up from your vehicle and breaking your window. We even put a diamond plate um, paneling here to help protect the metal so it doesn't get all dinged up and dented up. As you walk into the retro trailer, one of the first things you'll find is a lot of storage inside our unit. This storage compartment here goes all the way back and you can put a couple plastic containers in there to sort out whatever materials you want to store inside the unit. So you have a nice easy access to that. You also have access to that area by lifting up the cushions as well and the panel there and there's storage under both sides of the dinette. And then when you want to sit in here, you notice it's kind of a tight quarters, but you can slide the table back on this crossbar that runs to the back of the dinette. That gives you easy room to walk through here and lift up this other lid, which I mentioned before, it gives you storage from both the inside and the outside of the unit. So there's an abundant amount of storage underneath here, underneath this dinette, underneath that side of the dinette there. The trailer back in the 50s, you buy one of those, they're stick frame, stapled together. Ours are aluminum frame, welded together, and no bathroom. But here you've got what we call a wet bath. So you've got plenty of room inside this unit here to stand and take a shower. I, I'm six foot myself, and so there's plenty of room here that I could take and shower off inside this unit. And just clean the whole thing down with your, with your shower head there and wipe it out so it keeps it nice and clean. There's lots of counter space in our units with a flip-up extension here for preparing food, as well as three drawers here. And then on these drawers, you notice that they're self-closing. When I pull that drawer out and I slide it back, it automatically closes by itself. And the reason for that, or the benefit of that, is that when you're traveling around, you don't want that drawer hanging out and cabinet falling down on this thing. Uh, this is going to give you some resistance here, so it's not going to do that and keep the drawer intact. 
more storage above the sink here as well and then you're back to the microwave so now you're going to get a microwave you're going to get a fantastic fan here so you can pull the air inside blow the air outside it's a 10 blade fan it's thermostatically controlled and it has a rain sensor on it and it's remote controlled so you can actually operate it while you're laying back in the bed or sitting at the dinette in the back of the trailer, you notice there's a lot of storage all the way across the back. Cabinets here and wardrobes on both sides of the bed. There's a wardrobe here. There's a wardrobe on the other side of the, the bed. There's a 110 volt connection on both sides of the trailer. There's a 12 volt plug in the back plus two USB ports. So you can plug in your, your tablets or your phones and charge them at night. Underneath the bed here, gas mounted struts, you have lots of storage here, lots and lots of room underneath here. One of the things we take pride in is our mattress in here. This is a Heartland mattress. And if you sit on this mattress in our trailer, this is built by Heartland back in Indiana. This is an Amish handcrafted mattress. It's extremely comfortable and I can tell you, I stay at some of the nicest hotels all over the world and I seldom ever sleep as good as I do on this particular mattress right here. I actually have one of these traders myself and I sleep better in it than I do in most any hotel I ever go to. Thank you again for taking time to take a look at the retro and see what's old is really what's new today. Stop by the website for DennisDillonRV.com. It's DDRV.com and take a look and see what they have. If you're down in the Southern California market, Come on by and see these guys.